Welcome back to Gear Acquisition Syndrome, the show where I satisfy my crippling addiction of collecting video equipment and then talking about it in front of the camera. This is the King TV Bolton Andromeda RGB Slim Tube. As the name would have it, it is an RGB tube and it comes with its own remote. Now I'm going to give the negative feedback off the bat so we can get back into the good stuff. Number one, the remote that it comes with looks like it came off of some kind of cartoon series. And two, there's no real way to mount the controller unit anywhere. I had to jerry rig mine to have this little uh, rubber zip tie thing that I got from Home Depot so I could hang it on stuff. And there is an app that you can connect to on your phone, but I wasn't able to connect to it. That's it for negative feedback. Let's get into the good stuff. Now, in spite of the remote looking like it came out of a Hasbro commercial, it actually works really well. And it negates the need for even using uh, the Wi-Fi app that I couldn't connect to. So it's super functional. Uh, I mean, you can pick any color on the wheel here, and it's like a touch responsive remote. And you can select any color temperature up here. And then over up here, we select the brightness. Down here you can select through the 30 plus different presets that they have. Uh, anything from just color strobing to police cars and campfires. You can also connect several different slim tubes of this Andromeda series to the same remote. So you can only you can use just one remote to control your entire light kit. One of my favorite features about lights that have remotes on them is you can leave them plugged in and turned on and just use the remote to turn them on and off as you get set up for your day. So the remote works really well as you would expect. Uh, for future designs, I would love them to have more of a square remote with actual, uh, you know, tactile buttons instead of touch sensors, because I think these are kind of tacky, but it does this job and it works fine. The real star of the show is the light itself. Uh, number one, the actual light is super light. Uh, I feel like you could mount this thing anywhere. In fact, I think they had that in mind. when they were figuring out how they wanted to make the case that holds the LED tube. As you can see here, they have quarter 20 mounts every few inches. So you can position it wherever you need to on your tripods. And by tripods, I totally mean light stands. It also has these incredibly handy little barn doors, which you can use to control the spill of the light all the way down to a tiny little sliver. And it works pretty well for that. The cable that the light is mounted to is really durable and I don't think you should ever worry about breaking it. Although, it's not replaceable if you do, or if you accidentally cut it or something. Now what I've been doing for mounting is I got one of these cheap little magic arms from, uh, I can't pronounce the name. But I got one of these cheap little magic arms uh, for like 20 bucks or something like that. And I can screw it into one of these little holes here. And now I can mount this light in pretty much any position. Now obviously it doesn't necessarily have to be a light stand that you're mounting it to. You could mount it to any pole or any surface or any tripod or whatever thing that's just any structure that you need to that will fit that clamp on it. If I needed a really nice soft light like right over my computer screens, no problem. It fits right up there really easily. I think what I like most about it is just the ability to remotely control my backgrounds or, you know, rim lights or whatever reason I'm using this light for remotely uh, really quickly. I mean, setup is, you know, just one second. Ooh, I'm going to turn this light on and I'd like for a blue background. Boom. Um, most of the RGB lights that I've dealt with have either had to have a janky app interface or you have to physically deal with the controls on the light. Now, I'll reiterate, even though the remote looks kind of silly, it works really well and it fulfills its purpose of being the RGB control center for whatever reason you're using this light for. And for that, I give it props. So I'll probably be using this light in most of my videos moving forward as a background light because I don't have to deal with turning it on and off every time I want to use it or set the colors. The remote is actually fairly handy. And the color quality is super high. You can use it as a key light. The CRI is over 95. All right, we've got the two foot Andromeda Bolton 
LED slim tube as our key light now set up at 5600 Kelvin at 20% power. The thing about these really slim lights is you can get them really close to your subject as long as they're out of frame. So right up here. Now if we throw in a little bit of rim light there, I think it looks pretty darn good. And as all my tests do when I'm using a key light, let's see how bright we can get ourselves. Uh, right now we're at f1.8, uh, shutter speed 1 over 50, ISO 200. If we pump it up to 100% power, which will get us up to roughly f4, uh, which looks like an acceptable exposure. Now it's definitely not the brightest thing in the whole world, uh, but the versatility that you get with a, just a two foot LED RGB tube is incredible. Now I look like the Hulk. See, I've got the, uh, it's just kind of weird, right? <laughs> Let's take a look at the main control box. Something worth noting is you can power this with just two Sony NPF style batteries. I personally prefer to use the AC adapter option, which is just a cable that plugs into the wall. The cable that comes with it that goes from the control unit down to the wall is about six feet. And then you have another roughly six feet of cable that goes from the control unit to the tube. It comes with these two kind of really weak Velcro straps that I personally just use to attach a little rubber tie thing that I got from Home Depot so I can mount the darn control box onto my light stands, like so. Now you don't actually need to use the wireless remote at all to turn it off or on. We've got that here, and we have a little knob here to control the power output. If you're in CCT mode, all you have to do is click this little knob down here and you can adjust the Kelvin temperature, the color temperature down from 2000 Kelvin up to 10,000 Kelvin. And if you click it again, you can adjust the magenta and green filter. If you click the RGB button, it brings you into RGB mode, where if you click this little knob and then rotate it, it will let you adjust the colors from zero to 360. It's very easy to find the color that you need and then you can click it again and that will let you set the frequency from off up to 10 hertz for a strobing effect. The unit comes pre-programmed with 36 different special effects which change the intensity and the color of the light output to simulate different events like disco shows and lightning, candlelight, bonfires, police. It has a few wash effects which basically are just a fading transition. My favorite personal special effect is lightning. The light is also flicker free at high frame rates and comes in at below $400. But there we go. That's the Kane TV Bolton Andromeda Slim Tube. This is with the two foot tube and I think this is gonna be really just totally sufficient for what I need it for, which is gonna be a background light that is remote controlled and RGB. I wanna thank Kame TV for sending out this light for me to take a look at and put on the show here. Thanks for watching another episode of Gear Acquisition Syndrome. If you wanna see another video like this, hit that subscribe button. We've got another one coming for you next week. See you next time.